Hi right, guys. It is a gray, gloomy, stormy day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization. And uh, just now noticing that I forgot to do a chronicle of the collapse today here on, uh, it is Wednesday, September 8th. 2021 so I am trying to get back to work here at Collapse Chronicles and guys I don't know I just I don't want this channel to become a climate change channel I think there's some uh, confusion by some people that Collapse Chronicles is a climate change channel now obviously uh, climate change does play a big part on the collapse of global industrial civilization and the planet, but I don't want to j just make, me, you know, I don't want five out of seven videos a week to be about climate change. There's plenty of channels out there that do a fine job on that, so uh, I'm going to be dabbling around in a few other uh <laughs> few other avenues here, broadening the horizons. Uh, I notice I keep getting a, accused recently of mixing me up with somebody else down in the Doomsphere. I don't know what that's all about, but uh, anyway, I am who I am. By the way, I am Sam Mitchell is my name. And, uh, this is what I do as I chronicle the collapse of uh, of a planet. So, uh, you know, I was thinking of doing uh, like a little kind of a Mad Max thing, just, just looking at little separate news stories just showing up, you know, at various places in the mainstream media. So what do we have in the last like three or four days there, I know somebody was shot and killed for breaking in line at a gas station in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, you know, where people are spending hours waiting to fill up their gas-sucking cars, and I, and I guess they're posting cops and whatnot for fights breaking out, finally erupted in gunfire, and I guess someone is off to prison, and someone's dead, and someone's off to prison uh, for breaking in line at a gas station. So you can look forward to people getting killed in gas station lines to be a certainly an increasing trend in the 21st century as Mad Max closes in. And then there's two stories in the past couple of days where people have been shot and killed, uh, you know, racing someone for a parking place. You know, it's a good thing I'm not armed. Uh, you know, when, when somebody cuts you off and you're waiting for a parking place and someone sneaks in and, and runs right ahead of you and grabs the space, you know, more and more, a jury of your peers will, you know, will acquit you. So I guess there is, in a Walmart parking lot, uh, we had someone getting murdered uh, this weekend. And uh, I guess, I was reading, there were a couple, a, a married couple. So even, I'm assuming the guy was driving, but the dude was so enraged, he killed the driver and the passenger in the car uh, for stealing their parking place. Good Lord, how many people were shot and were, were shot and killed in Chicago this weekend? Uh, was it 68? Now I'm sure it's 68 shootings, but I'm uh, not sure if all 68 of those people died. I know there are a couple of babies being shot to death in the gunfire in Chicago. Uh, and then there's this spate of stories uh, which have been coming out just off and on all summer about just these brazen criminals. I was reading one yesterday about this Lowe's department store. 
where uh, like a bunch of guys, like 20 guys, just moved into the store and grabbed sharp, you know, shopping carts and just filled this blatantly broad daylight. Now, of course, they had masks on. Uh, they were emboldened by uh, people not being able to uh, see their faces, but they just went in one day last week at some, uh, some Lowe's store. And a bunch of guys went in and just filled up shopping carts with hundreds, if not thousands of dollars worth of stuff. That security cameras go and everything just filled up the shopping carts and just walked out of the store and threw them the, this stuff in their car and drove off. You know, people videoing, videotaping them, the security cameras, just absolutely like uh, completely uh, ignoring the cops. This long story this morning, uh, some weird story, I think it was out of Utah about no, it's, I'm sorry, it's Bakersfield, California, about this new trend for the, a, a, a new term for the uh, glossary of the collapse, motorcycle takeovers. Motorcycle takeovers, these are not traditional biker gangs, like in the Wild Bunch. It's not the Wild Bunch they're talking about. What they're talking about is this new social media thing that the, these the people go around and they make these plans and what it mostly is, it's not big Harleys, it's like dirt bikes and ATVs and where like a hundred uh, people gather on dirt bikes and ATVs and stuff like that and just literally uh, like a mob just just uh, like they were talking about you know, in Bakersfield, California, the cops are completely helpless to stop these things. Uh, they, you know, the cops are just saying that there's nothing we can do about it. These motorcycle takeovers, and as they were saying in that article, it, it's it's not teenagers that these are. You know, mostly male, obviously, in the motorcycle takeovers. It's mostly. You know, like twenty something, uh, but but adults, uh, just uh, j just like these mobs, taken over. I guess emboldened by uh, you know the January sixth stuff in Washington. I'm sure you've uh, well, have you seen that the the January sixth mob uh, has been replaced by the September 7th mob, as, uh, one of the headlines says that Bozo Nero goes full Trump, and, uh, and these mobs, uh, you know, trying to keep, uh, that, uh, you know, that right-wing planet-eating fascist in power, and it sounds like Bozo Nero, I mean, he's making it, making it clear, that he has no intention of uh, stepping down if he loses the election. He, his his, his uh, approval rating is at 20%, and uh, his, you know, his hardcore uh, right-wing extremist, you know, narrow band of supporters, they are just pretty much making it clear that uh, they are going to completely ignore uh, any pretense uh, at a Democratic vote. And I, I guess uh, Bozo Nero, a few days ago, what, what was Bozo Nero saying? That uh, he would either be elected, thrown in prison, or murdered between you know between now and the elections next year. Uh, and today, I guess uh, he said, "Only God, only God, will take me out." But anyway, as long as we're down there in Brazil, just for trying to figure out, you know, what is Mad Max going to look like? Uh, I mean, I'm not talking the you know these big ecological climatic. I'm, I'm just talking about as 
uh, as society just breaks down in the 21st century. And so we finally, right here, as long as we're down in Brazil, Mad Max showing up in the mainstream media. Today, right here in the mainstream media from the Daily Beast, these Mad Max mega heist are the future of Brazil's bank robberies. And I'm sure what's uh, good or bad for Brazil so this is just the latest one. Uh, this was uh, last Monday. In the pre-dawn darkness last Monday, a group of about 20 heavily armed commandos seized control of the downtown financial block in Aracatuba, a mid-sized Brazilian city in the eastern state of Sao Paulo. They then proceeded to rob three banks while the surveillance drones they had, uh, they had deployed kept watch overhead. When the heist was complete, they accosted several innocent bystanders, shot a man who had been filming them on his cell phone. Uh, note to self, do not, if, if you see 20 guys, armed bandits, taking over three banks, with uh, drones flying overhead, you do not stop and pull out your cell phone to start filming them. You run like hell. Uh, these people so intent on getting a TikTok video. So this guy is shot down. Uh, and then bound hostages they had taken they tied them to the tops of their getaway vehicles so as to dissuade police from interfering with their escape. To further distract authorities and cover their retreat, the gang had already planted at least 20 explosives wired to motion detectors around the city, which then began to detonate. At the edge of town, the police opened fire at last, killing one female hostage tied to the roof of a getaway car and one of the thieves before the others got away. At least one other person was killed and one badly wounded by, you know, one of the decoy bomb blasts that uh, BBC reported. So far, no one knows the fate of the hostages nor how much money was taken in the raid. And, uh, but this is, uh, this is, uh, not an isolated, uh, is not an isolated incident. A spate of similarly violent bank robberies has been taking place all over Brazil. Uh, then they go through, uh, here is one where 30 armed thieves planted some 70 pounds of explosive, explosives and forced naked hostages to lie in the road, blocking traffic to thwart a police response. Then they also flung some of the stolen cash into the streets to aid their escape as crowds rushed into the street to gather up the loose bills, giving the, uh, you know, that's pro I admit I probably would have been one of those people uh, grabbing up the loose bills. Uh, in that episode, the attackers looted several banks and walked off with about $24 million dollars. Uh, here's one that just happened uh, two days ago when commandos blasted their way into a bank in the coastal town of Selena das Margaritas. Uh, okay, so the robbery two days ago marked the 38th such, you know, this kind of bank robbery this year as attacks of this kind have risen by 170% since last year. Uh, 
in its report, uh, quote, these attacks have grown beyond compare, seemingly becoming a competition between criminals about who can pull off the, the most dangerous heist with utter disregard for human life. Uh, the degree of brutality is approaching, quote, the Mad Max level, especially with people being tied to moving vehicles. Uh, the planners have paramilitary and or military training with an understanding of tactical actions, raids, urban channeling, and escape and invasion. Since 2015, these kind of attacks have become so common that Brazilians have a name for them. Novo Cangaco, which roughly translates into English as a new struggle. So, uh, you know, there, and there's some people are, are actually deluding themselves that these guys are like new like new Robin Hoods that these guys uh, but they hate to uh, to uh, burst or bubble uh, the difference between you know the the Robin Hood of yesterday and today is the difference today is that the traditional peasant bandits were fighting against politicians the um, Bank robbers today are attacking banks and are most basically interested in money for different purposes. Do you think so? Uh, so now they have, uh, you know, now they've identified these organized crime syndicates. Uh, One estimate that these organized crime syndicates are expanding in international reach with over 10,000 members. Good Lord. Uh, anyway, uh, this goes on and on. Uh, Okay, the bottom line, this is someone uh, from the DEA weighing in on this, quote, the bank robberies occurring in Brazil, this is from someone from the U.S. DEA, the bank robberies occurring in Brazil could usher in a new, more violent era involving the use of military grade weapons, explosives, and mass hostages, the use of simple handguns would be obsolete. There you go. So anyway, uh, anyone just trying like, like I am to figure out what Mad Max is going to uh, look like, and of course the never-ending string of road rage incidents and whatnot, you know, I have to admit, uh, I'm getting a little close to some road rage myself, uh, mainly dealing with all of this road construction. I, I enjoyed this one uh, story that Aaron sent me where this dude down in Fort Myers, Florida, got so fed up with this pothole on his street trying to get anyone to fill in a pothole, he finally just planted a banana tree in the pothole and, and so this banana tree is like 20 feet tall there's a 20 foot banana tree just growing in the middle of the street but i kind of like uh, banana trees growing in the middle of the street and no one is still as the as a 20 foot banana tree takes over the potholes anyway guys this is collapse chronicles but uh I will get more on track tomorrow and come back with uh, my second edition. Thursday is going to become my oilprice.com edition where I go over and look at this excellent newsletter which is actually for fossil fuel investors. 
Uh, I've been reading them for years and I've really decided that oilprice.com is one of the most honest uh, chroniclers of the uh, collapse. So I will be back tomorrow with the oilprice.com and uh, get back on track, I guess. But anyway, I smell some, some fine smelling organic potatoes cooking uh, on the stove. We had our big organic potato harvest yesterday and uh, I'm going to enjoy the tubers of my labor. Get out there and enjoy the tubers of your labor while you still can. Bye guys. Yes, you little Mad Max dog. What are you doing to prepare for Mad Max?